Hey friends, I had to be in a meeting today, so I am making this video to give you your instructions. You should have just watched a video with the sub on the Doodle for Google contest, and it would give you your theme, I am grateful for. So what are you grateful for? So what your next step is, is to create a successful Doodle. And what that is, is one that really does meet the theme and fits what you truly are grateful for. What I want you to do first is I want you to spend some time today in class just really thinking about that question. What are you grateful for? And I want you to sketch out things that you're grateful for and you can just do that just in pictures or you can list out things that you're grateful for and do that with words. I've done a quick example for you here. Here's my example and I'll leave it up on the board for you to be able to look at just to give you an idea. Notice that I wrote out things I'm thankful for. Our home, my family, my friends, school, music, food, art, health, even ice cream and pizza. Okay, it can be as serious as you want or as lighthearted as you want. Just anything you are grateful for. I want you to spend a lot of time just making your list and making your sketches and really coming up with ideas of what we're grateful for. Not only because it's important to stop and think about what we're grateful for, but also I want you to really make this contest entry specific to you about what you truly are thankful for. After you make your list or your whole page full of crazy sketches, kind of like mine or just everywhere, I want you to start picking out ones that you want to convert into a Google Doodle. In the video that you watched from the Google team, they talked about how a Google Doodle spells out the word Google. So here it says G O O G L E. And this is just a quick example that I made to show you. So I put things that were on my ideas page into my sketches that form the word Google. So here I have my two daughters and my husband on the G for family. I decided to show love by interlinking hearts to show the two O's in Google. Good health to make the lowercase g with a stethoscope. And of course, you know that Miss Hoffman loves art, so I made the L and the E an art palette. Okay, so it doesn't have to look exactly like the letters. You can see my stethoscope doesn't look exactly like a lowercase g. My E does not look exactly like a lowercase e, but it gives us that essence of Google. So what I want you to do today with the sub is spend most of our time thinking about what am I grateful for? She's going to give you plain white paper to do this with. You can sketch it out with the markers or crayons or pencils, which are all already on your desk. And then after you have what you feel like you are grateful for sketched out on your paper, on the back of that paper, or on a separate piece of paper, you can raise your hand to get another. I want you to start trying to figure out how to put those things into the shape of the word Google. When you're done, you can then get a final draft paper, which the sub will have on my desk, and you can start trying to transfer it onto the final draft paper that you will take home and have signed. If you do not want to start your final draft today and you're just spending most of your time on your sketches and on your doodle, you can write your name on both, give it to the sub and she will keep it and we will continue this later. All right, do your best and I'm excited to see what you come up with. Bye guys.